All right, so I'm gonna talk about this. Um, so what sparked this conversation is I was on the uh, website of the Shave Room because the Breakfast Club were kind of like making jokingly making fun of Angela Simmons for having like a Southern accent. Uh, she's been in a relationship with, with, with Yo Gotti. And um, what was interesting and fascinating is that the Shade Room posted a clip of it on their page, and this is what they put on there. Uh, they said, TSR, so the Shade Room cut the flu foolery. Not Yo Gotti got Angela Simmons changing her accent. Uh, so it was very interesting that um, a website like the Shade Room that is not owned by black Americans and that the actual owner of uh, this website or the owner of this Instagram page, Angelica Nuwandu, has been faking the black American culture for years and made millions off of it, is now having the audacity to say something about a black American sister, no matter how, what you think about Angela Simmons, she's from our community, and you're telling her or saying that she's faking something or adding to it on your page, when you fake an entire culture, is just amazing to me. So if you go to Angelica Nuwandu's page, she has the Nigerian flag on her page, right? So she is proud of her culture. She is proud where she comes from. I love my Nigerian brothers and sisters out there the ones out there that hold down, you know, their culture and, and what they're about, about, but they don't try to exploit our culture and profit off of our culture. If they do, they co-sign and say, this is our creation. I'm talking about Angelica Nuwandu, who is a black American culture vulture. Uh, so then she, on her most recent uh, post on her page, uh, she is going to be uh, appearing on GMA and they're gonna interview her in regards to uh, how she's built her black audience and how presidential candidates, Senate Congress is coming to her, asking her about the issues that affect black Americans. I mean, is this real? Is this, is, are we being punked here? Literally, I, it was just most recent when she was sending down with Kamala Harris, who two of them are not black Americans uh, and they were discussing uh, what they should do or, or what is affecting us or what our thought processes are. And I just don't understand why we as a people do not find that weird. Uh, someone that did the article um, wrote, uh, she said that CEO and Angie Nwandu says she wants to grow political coverage on her site that reflects the page's diverse audience. Black people are not a monolith. Well, if she has to understand, it's the only time we see individuals like her use black this and black that is when it regards to commerce or, or trying to be among us to get a transactional uh, you know, element going. But any other time when you get a degree, Nigerian. Uh, when uh, you, 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 you get this award, Nigerian. But when you want to get in the mix and be like us, so to speak, like the song, They Not Like Us, that's when you are quote unquote black. I, for, for one, uh, think it's very uh, insensitive for these candidates to reach out to Angelica Nuwandu, where there are a ton of black American scholars, black American uh, content creators that have a huge following that can speak to what is actually we are going through as a people and the things that we need. So uh, just found it very interesting uh, for her to be speaking on that, uh, but not surprised because again, it's always been a transactional commerce mindset she's had to our people.